Today we're going to talk about the oil needs of the Coyote engine and we're going to show you a cool new product you definitely want to check out if you're doing an oil change on your 2018 through 2019 Mustang GT. Before we get too much into the Coyote engine itself, let's talk about oil, what the numbers mean, what the different styles are, and stuff like that. Let's start with viscosity. Now, viscosity is fluids resistance to flow, and that's what these numbers are on your oil. 520, 530, whatever happened number, even a straight 30, that is your oil's viscosity. Now, the lower that number, the thinner the oil is and the better it's going to flow. Now, in stuff like our 520 here and 550, what that means, it actually has a viscosity at cold temperatures, which is at zero degrees, and it has a viscosity at warmer temperatures, which is 212 degrees. So when this says 5W20, that means the 5 is the winter viscosity, which means this engine is going to be nice and thin when your engine is cold in the winter, which is something you're going to want. But once it warms up, it's going to get thicker and better lubricate the engine. Now let's talk about the different styles of oil. You have conventional oil, you've got your semi-synthetics or your blends, and then you have your full synthetic. Now, do you need synthetic is a question people ask all the time. That really is going to be up to you and how you operate your car. Now, the modern Mustang, like my 2018 here, right in the manual, Ford recommends synthetic oil. The reason they do that is because of longevity. The oil change schedule that's built into the car is designed for synthetic. But what synthetic is, it's still petroleum-based, just like conventional oil, but it has synthetic additives that allow the oil not to break down as fast and last a lot longer. Now, if you're one of those people that's still every 3,000 miles, you're changing your oil, Conventional oil is going to be fine for you, but if you want to go 5, 7,500 miles, even some cars 10,000 miles between changes, you want to use synthetic, which is proper for that kind of oil change schedule. Okay, so now let's talk about the Coyote engines. There's going to be three specific generations when it comes to the Coyote. Our engine in Crimpstown here is going to be a Generation 1. These engines were found in the 2011 through 2014 Mustang. Now right here behind me, we have our black 2015 Mustang GT. This will be a Generation 2. These engines were found in 2015 through 2017. And then finally, our last one is going to be the Generation 3, found in the 2018 through 2019 Mustang GT. So if you're a Generation 1 Coyote, when you're doing an oil change, it's going to require 8 quarts of oil. Now this is going to be if you're 11 through 14 Mustang GT, it's going to be 8 quarts of 5W20. If you have a 2012 through 2013 Boss 302 or a track pack car, it's going to take 8.5 quarts because of the oil cooler. Now if you're doing an oil change on one of those cars, just make sure you keep it on the dipstick because sometimes it might not take the full half quart. Those cars also will require 5W50 instead of the standard 5W20. Next up, we have the Generation 2 Coyote. Now, these engines are going to be found in your 2015 through 2017 Mustang GT. These will take 8 quarts of oil as well, and will also use 5W20. And then finally, we have the Gen 3 Coyote, which is found in your 2018 through 2019 Mustang GT. Now, these cars are going to require 10 quarts of oil. They're also going to take 10 quarts of 5W20. Now, something you want to keep in mind, if you have the dealer do your oil change or take it somewhere else, make sure you specify 10 quarts. There's been plenty of people who have had oil changes done and only had 8 quarts of oil put in their engine. The viscosity and capacity we just discussed is manufacturer's recommendations for a stock engine. Now, keep in mind, if your car is modified, it may have different requirements. For example, the Ford Performance Route Supercharger on my car, they recommend 5W50 and even give you a sticker for the oil cap to remind you. So you definitely want, if you're running a modified car, check with your tuner or engine builder and see what they recommend. So while we're here, we're going to do an oil change on my 2018 Mustang GT. Now, I do have a Roush Performance Supercharger, so this is going to take 10 quarts of 5W50. Now, if you haven't seen underneath the Gen 3 Coyote, it now has a plastic oil pan. It also has a plastic drain. There's been a lot of issues with these things breaking and snapping. Well, that's that cool new product I was talking about. This is the billet drain plug from UPR. This features high-quality billet construction, factory style o-ring and even a magnet on the end. It's be much stronger than the factory one and it'll be a direct replacement and have no problems with the composite pan. To remove the filter, we're going to remove this screw from the access panel. And the filter is right above it. Put 
put a little dab of oil on our new filter and put it up into place. We're gonna put the access panel back, install the screw, then ready to go up top and fill up the crankcase. And we'll grab our oil, fill it up. Should mention when doing an oil change is also a really good time to check your oil separator. And make sure when you're done your oil change, you go in and reset it. And we're gonna go for another six or 7,000 miles. Obviously engine oil is very important for the longevity and performance of the Coyote engine in your Mustang. Also knowing the right amount and having the right viscosity is also very, very important. Like I mentioned before, there have been plenty of reports of people with 2018 Mustangs only getting eight quarts of oil. So even if you don't do the oil change yourself, having the right knowledge will definitely help you protect your Mustang. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.